One thing that can make your professional-looking document feel very unprofessional is if it's filled with spelling errors and grammatical errors. That's why Word provides proofing tools like a spell checker and a grammar checker that can go through your document with a fine-tooth comb, fixing up spelling and grammar errors. We're going to take a look at this feature as we continue working with our Tech Connect document. Close up anything you're working on and open up Tech Connect 0802. This one has a little extra content and contains some spelling and grammar errors. As we scroll down from page one onto the next page, actually you can see at the bottom of this page, something's highlighted with a red squiggly underline. That tells us that that's spelt incorrectly or it's not recognized in the dictionary. Sometimes there are words that are spelled correctly, they're simply not in the dictionary, proper names, for example. As we scroll a little further down, you'll see some more with red squiggly lines. Spelling errors. Anything that you see with blue lines are typically grammar errors. They may not all be highlighted as we scroll through our document, but there is a spell checker and grammar checker that can run simultaneously to check that out. Let's try it. We'll go up here to the very top of our ribbon and click review. Over here in the proofing section, you can see spelling and grammar are grouped together. F7 is your keyboard shortcut to get this rolling. Give it a click. Now, because we're here on page one near the bottom, you can see that that word we saw with the red squiggly line is actually highlighted now, and we have a proofing pane over here on the right-hand side. And this makes it easier for us to fix things up. First of all, you see some context. There's the sentence. If you want to hear it, there's a little speaker icon. It can be read aloud. In this case, it's obvious it's just spelled incorrectly. There are some options down below, and you can see each of these has a drop-down arrow. Now, simply clicking the word built, if we know that this is the word that it should be, it replaces it and moves on to the next. Notice we're looking at the word innovation. Again, we have the context that can be read aloud, you can see the word innovation, including down below some synonyms. Click the drop down arrow. Again, we can read aloud. We can spell it out. We can change all occurrences of this typo. We can add it to the autocorrect dictionary and go directly to those autocorrect options from this drop down. Other options include down below ignore once. So if this happened to be a word that's actually not a typo, and a proper name, for example, we could ignore it or ignore it every time using ignore all or even add it to the dictionary so it never shows up with that red squiggly line again. Once it's added to the dictionary, it is part of the dictionary that contains all of the words that could be spelled incorrectly. All right, this is the word innovation. So we're just simply going to click it. Same thing for commitment, telecommunication. You can see there's two options telecommunication and telecommunications. I think the one with the S works well. On it goes to, oh, there it is, the blue line. So you can see the blue double lines. In this case, we're looking at a grammar error. And you can see the issue is clarity and conciseness. Consider using verbs instead of nouns. And you can see generalize is the option. Instead of make generalizations, just generalize and to apply reason. So. If we wanted to, again, we can select this to replace it, or we could choose to ignore it, leaving it just as it is. Or stop checking for this type of issue, clarity and conciseness, and even go to options for what we see here under clarity and conciseness in our grammar checker. I think we'll try out generalize to be clearer. Here's an example of a word that's not a typo. This is a proper name of a company. So we don't want to select any of these replacements. We could choose to ignore it, but if it appears in other areas of this document, it'll stop there. We could choose to ignore all occurrences of Kinet Eco, or I like this one, add it to the dictionary. If a lot of our documents are going to contain the name of this company, adding it to the dictionary means it'll never show up as a typo going forward. You can always go back into your dictionary to remove it in the future if you needed to. So let's just choose ignore all, but you could add it to your dictionary if you wanted to, and we're done. Spelling and grammar check is complete. When you click OK, you now know that your document is perfect.
perfectly spelled, perfect grammar, correct? Not necessarily. You'll still want to read through and make sure that everything that you've written here makes sense. It may be spelled correctly, but you might be using the wrong words, for example. So proofreading is still important, but Word makes it a lot easier for you thanks to some of these spell checking and grammar checking tools.